Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare today, and it is November 20th. First off is the thing that everyone's been talking about, which is the CDC changing its verbiage on vaccines and autism on their website. On the webpage, they used to have a header that said vaccines do not cause autism. It's still there with an asterisk now. The asterisk says that this is not an evidence claim because they have not been able to rule out all possible associations. It means moving forward isn't exactly clear, so we'll just have to wait around and see what they decide to do. There's a new phase three clinical trial when it comes to Pfizer's mRNA vaccine for the common cold, and it seemed to outperform our standard flu shots. It appears to be about 35% more effective than the common vaccines for preventing the flu and diagnosing it with symptoms. Safety was similar for overall for both of them, but those who did get the mRNA vaccine had higher rates of arm pain as well as systemic fever. Before we get into the last two studies, if you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack. You'll get a daily newsletter, links to all of the studies, and you'll help support me as a medical student. Also, a new JAMA neurology study today that tracked individuals from early to late life and tracked their exercise habits and their risk of developing dementia. We found that those that were in the highest activity groups between mid to late life had about a 40 to 45% lower reduction in developing dementia compared to the lowest exercise group. And lastly, we have a diabetes study on 21,000 veterans who were given three common types of GLP-1 drugs. Given liraglutide, semaglutide, and duraglutide. Have fun saying that three times. Primarily, we're looking at kidney and cardiovascular effects from these drugs, and they found that all three of them had minimal differences between them, meaning that people are going to be choosing them based off things like cost, how they tolerated it, and other major issues. But overall, they seem to work relatively well. That's all the major news for today. If you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack, and I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news.